Hey guys, Paul Kettner here. Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, Winix, Winix, the, uh, the M N161 CT touchscreen monitor. Oh, and Skittles is going to help. <laughs> anyway, this is a cool little monitor. It's a 12-inch touchscreen that's powered by USB-C. So in the box, you get a. Oops, sorry, Skittles. Get a nice monitor. It's completely touch screen. Nice and thin, as you can see. It's only 8 millimeters thick. On the end, right here, you have your menu button, which is a little wheel that you can push and turn, and then an exit, and then a headphone. You have a speaker here, and then a speaker on the other side, and then you have two USB-C and a uh, HDMI mini, which is really nice. On the back, let's see if you can see it, trying to get a little bit of reflection, there you go. See these bolt holes? Those are a Visa pattern, uh, 75 by 75, so if you have a uh, TV mount or anything, you can actually mount this on the wall. Um, and Skittles is here again. On a side note, uh, the one thing it didn't have, which would be really useful for me, and probably some other people, is, is it doesn't have a quarter twenty bolt uh, bolt hole on the bottom of it. High skills. So I actually went and made a little bracket right here. Put some foam on the back with a little quarter twenty. So on the back of it, it mounts on there like that, and then I can mount it on a tripod. Uh, now this is a 720p monitor. So take that into consideration. You cannot use it as a monitor for your cameras. So we'll set that there. In the box, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is nice. You also get a USB-C to HDMI cable right here. Another nice feature. You get a 5 volt. USB power supply and then an HDMI cable which goes from standard HDMI to mini HDMI which is really nice. They give you a lot of things in this monitor. The nice thing I like about it, sorry about that, oh and your manual, several different languages. Also comes with a cleaning cloth right here and a stand for it which is kind of nice. So I'll show you how this stand works. Pops out like that. Put your monitor on it. And it just sits like that. Real nice. So we'll flip this over so it doesn't get damaged. Put the cable back in the box. The thing I like, I really like about this, again, this is touch screen and it's powered by USB-C, which is really cool. So, for example, if I can get this open, there we go. So you can take the cable here, plug it into any of the USB-C spots on the back, or on the side, and as soon as you plug it into a phone, tablet, or a computer that has USB-C, it automatically powers it. It should come up. There you go. And you can control the phone when it lights up. So it looks like it's cracked. It's not cracked. So my phone. There you go. <laughs> and I can go to all the icons. Do whatever I want. Uh, a cool thing. You can actually use this as a monitor a big monitor for your phone camera, especially for vlogging, which is really cool. So again, you can put hit camera right here. Let's see here. There it is. And then you can change it. Kind of cool. 
Also, if you turn it, it should turn. Let's see. No, maybe not. I thought it turned. <laughs> My bad. There you go. <laughs> so, um, so you can actually get out of your camera just by touching the screen here. You go to YouTube. Oops. Which is right here. And there's YouTube. So you can scroll through all your videos. You can do full screen. Which is really nice. And then to turn it off, you can either hit the power or just simply unplug it. So yeah, it's a really cool monitor. Um, they have another one that's a, sorry about that, they have another one that's a 1080p, which I think I would like to get. That way I can connect it to my camera, use it as a big director's monitor, but for this, for having a second monitor for my Chromebook or my tablet, or especially my phone, this is awesome. I love this thing. So yeah, be sure and check this out uh, on Amazon. A lot of noise in the background, sorry about that. And Skittles is on the box. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Linux, the M1161CT. So hope you like the review. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, just let me know. I'll try to answer them for you. Until then, thanks for watching.